Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another video. It's been a while. I was on a hiatus for quite a long time, but I'm back now, and I figured we would do one of my old favorite videos, 50 Linen Friday. I had a lot of requests asking that I go back to this event, and honestly, I missed doing it. It was a lot of fun, and I got to check out a lot of stores that I didn't always know about, so I figured we'd do that again today. So let's see what stores we have this week. For those of you that don't know what 50 Linen Friday is, it is an in-world event. Uh, every Friday, well, it happens on midnight on Thursday, but then it goes Friday for 24 hours. And um, I guess 12 hours. Yeah, no, 24 hours. There we go. I can't brain, huh? Um, and it has a collection of stores where you visit their main stores and every item that they sell in this specific location are 50 linens. Sometimes it's one item, sometimes it's multiple, and sometimes it's a recolor, a new item, or a special version of that item. Uh, so we will go check these out. These are all the stores this week. We have ADD and Dell, A&E, Balaclava, Bessem, Bleich, Brocant, K, Dead Dolls, Etham, Erratic, Fancy Decor, Fetch, Funky Junk, Extraordinary, Ingenue, Lavelle, Lawrenson, Luxuria, Maxi Gossamer, Masu, Osmia, Stories and Co., and Wasabi. So this is a lot of stores, and I'm excited to check them out. I will go in alphabetical order, and I'm also going to try and show you each item after every store that I visit. Before we go into unboxing all these items, let's go into what I am currently wearing. I have a cute little bindi with jewels from Swan, as well as a little choker from Swan. Oops, I moved it a little far back, it looks like. And these were at... Uh, Kinky and Flora. I also am always wearing my Random Matter ears. I have my uh, Masu little uh, flower crown. I love this thing so much. When I wear a flower crown, I normally go to this one. I have Stealthic's new hair. I believe this is at Uber. And then I have Elieva's new release as well. So Stealthic's hair is called... Uh, Mirage, and then Elieva's hoodie is the Exiled hoodie. And then down here I am wearing Decoy's shorts, and I believe these are at an event currently right now too. Let's see. The High Rise shorts for Uber as well. And for shoes, I was wearing the Miss Chelsea sandals. These were at the Epiphany with their little Boho Festival. Gotcha. Alrighty, so with ADD and Dell, the item is pretty simple to get to. Once you come from the landing point, we're just going to go right over here to this sign. And it looks like they have some eyes. Also, you can see Lita Minx over here, so she's probably vlogging this as well. But here it is. These are, let's see what they're for. It looks like they're Omega, shown on new original mesh eyes, as well as include system eyes, mesh eyes, and Omega eyes. And these are called Neon City Eyes. These come in blue, green, purple, red, and yellow. And again, they have the system eyes as well as their mesh eyes. I put on the Omega HUD. So I'm going to hit Alt-Shift-H to show my HUD. Because I had it hiding. And we are going to zoom right in onto my face. So let's check them out. This is the first one. We'll just do both eyes. And then you can see like a purple tinge to it. I feel like these would be really good in like maybe a sci-fi role play with how the colors are. Or a fantasy role play. You know, the next one right here that's kind of golden. We have these that look kind of a gray, blue, green. These are definitely going to be blue. And finally we have our purple. Very lovely. It's cool they're doing eyes. I saw quite a few in their store as well. 
Next up is A and E, and again, this is another really easy one to find. If we just came over, oh, it was right there. <laughs> so I'm at the TP point right now, and it is just right behind me. So over here, we have the 2019 edition of the Maro Heel. So this is the 3.0 for Slink and Maitreya. So she's updated these. She has more color options, and they are rigged and HUD driven. With these cute heels from ANE, we have two different HUDs, a vivid as well as a light HUD. So when you click on it, you should be able to adjust the shoe itself as well as the straps. So we can see right here they change almost instantly as well as the shoes. Very lovely colors and I like the shine a lot. I think this is really cute. And I like how versatile it is, too, with all the different colors. You can really match really any color palette. How many times can I say really? My goodness. I like this. I love mix and match options. And these are for mid, so they're Maitreya and Slink. We have Balaclava next, and they are just right over here as well. I'm still at the landing point, and it looks like we have some really cute vending carts. Oh my gosh, I actually love these. I kind of want to put them at my game show for, like, merch, because I do have merch for Dress to Impress, at least. So it comes with Color, Change, Canopy, and 3 Lin Impact Copy Mod. And they are bought separate. There's two different ones. These things are really cute. I love the texture and detail on these from Balaclava. And I like that there's little handles on it, so you could actually see it, like, being lifted and pushed to get to your market spot every day. All you have to do to change the texture is click on it. If you want only special access for it, you can click that. And only the owner can touch it, the group or all. So if you want anyone to be able to change the color, they can. We have red, blue, green, red stripe, blue stripe, green stripe. And that's on both of these. So if you want it to have stripes or just one color, you can do that. I feel like green is always like a good color for like medieval role plays, so I feel like that would work for this too. And I feel like it's a pretty versatile item for both roleplay as well as shops. So maybe if you're like doing Fifty Linen Friday or the Saturday Stale, you can always just toss them on here and use that as your little display. And it's only three land impact. It also is mod. So if you ever want to just remove this script when you're done, you can. Bessems is a little bit of a walk. So while we go in, we are just going to go around this bend. You'll see the 50 Linen Friday sign, and it is right over here. What's really cool about this, I believe they do, yeah, all tones in one purchase. And this is called Maddie, and let's let this texture res in. Hopefully it does soon. There's a lot of people here. If you haven't checked out Bessem, they have really cute hair. I like it a lot, and they always have little baby hairs on them. I love it. What's this over here? Oh, we have some more stuff over here, too. We have some sunglasses. In, in solids and in pastel. So these are the ones that are on this photo too. And this is called Maddie. So it has a little cute uh, bandana, or no, it's like a scarf that goes around the head. Full fat pack, sizes and style option plus tint. Bessem's hair is extremely cute and also extremely versatile. All these tones, it's incredible how many there are, as well as all the different wrap colors here. I think this is just adorable. I really love the new textures that Caddington has on her hair. I think these look really lovely and actually quite realistic. I enjoy them. And they have 4, 8, 12, 13, 14 different textures for the bandana as well. This is cute. It also should be unrigged, so if you do need to move it, no, it looks rigged. I lied. <laughs> so it is rigged, which actually I prefer. It won't, like, cut into my head or anything. And then also, what is this for the hair pins? Where are those at? Hair pins. Hair pins. I don't know what is up with my collar. I probably need to make it a little larger. I have no idea where the hairpins are. They're somewhere. <laughs> uh, but you can change them gold to silver wherever they are. I just seem to be blind currently. I have two ears on, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm a mess. 
It looks like Bleich keeps their 50 Linen Friday item in a skybox instead of in the main store. So if you do want to check out their main store, please just click it right here. And their item is a unisex fit, Chunky Alex. So this comes in Slink, Maitreya, Beleza, and Signature. And it's pretty cute. I like it. It has like uh, stars and stripes on it. Or at least stars. I like the color tone a lot. These are the Chunky Alex, and they actually come in uh, Beleza, Maitreya, Slink, as well as Male Beleza, and Slink, and Signature Gianni. I don't know if I actually saw that on the sign. I could have just had a brain fart and forgotten already. These are really cute, though. They do come in just this one color. There's no modifiable options, but if you do want to check out their other items, I'm sure they're in the store. I didn't realize they were around since 2014. That's a long time. Okay, just from the amount of people, I am going to move just a little bit over here, and we are going to the 50 Linen Friday item. So it looks like they, I think they normally have two items, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it looks like we have the hot tub, and this was in Famesh X. They had an adult version. Oh, they have both right here, PG and adult, but this looks like a different color. Then we also have a scroll over here to do drink tea, save animals, nap, repeat. From Brokant, we have this little hot tub. It comes with singles and cuddles. They did have an adult version. I just bought the PG. So with the single, there are a lot of poses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, even more, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 poses for the single. Oh, my animation kicked in, my AO. There we go. And then for the cuddle, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different poses. It was very cute. And then we have the sign up here that's also from Brocat, and it says, what's for dinner? Oh, so you can change it. So Sunday pot roast, Monday takeout, Tuesday tacos, Wednesday lo mein, Thursday chicken pot pie, Friday pizza, Saturday date night. So if you click it, we have six different options for it. You can have it just completely plain. So if you want to add your own PNG text to it, you could totally do that, which would be cool. We also have dinner. We have a to-do list, which is the one we saw in the store. We also have a grocery list. I love the text that they use. It's so pretty. We have a love letter. Write me a love letter, XO. And then chores. Weekend chores. Weed garden, laundry, make sweet tea, walk the dog, cuddle the cat. <laughs> I love that. This is Tulane Impact, and this is 14. I am going to buy the PG version of this one. From K, we have over here a little collar, and it says Princess on it. And I believe they have it where you can change the metal and the gem on it, but let's see what it says here. This is cute. The other stuff at Floor Plan was cute, too. If I ever, like, skip on saying how much I like something, it's not because I don't like it. I just, I just woke up, like, 30 minutes ago. Okay, so it concludes plain and peanut versions, so that means it uh, includes a PG version or one that has open collar in it, a more adult version. So peanut is like the tasty, you know. It comes with four metals, 15 gemstones, materials enabled, HUD controlled, XYZ resize, copy, modify, no transfer. With K, we have the princess collar, and again, you can change the metals as well as the gems. So... 5, 10, 15 different gem colors and 4 metals. I'm going to put it in gold to match my ears as well as I just recently got engaged and my engagement ring has my uh, fiance's uh, birthstone. Why can't I zoom in on this now? Oh my gosh. Which is garnet. So I will put garnet on this too. I love this. And if you want to resize it, all you have to do is click the jewelry and you can resize it how you need to. So let's make it just a little smaller. Let's make sure it's not cutting out of the back. Perfect. And then hit done. I do like when you teleport into dead dolls, it immediately moves you away from uh, the landing point. That's pretty cool. I never really noticed that until now. But we are at dead dolls now, so we are at least going to walk up closer to the main store. Normally their 50 Linen Friday items are over here, so hopefully that's where it's going to be. But there's so many people here, it takes a little while to res. And I think I'm right. Yes. So we have the Willa dress in fuchsia. So let's let that res in. I'm also going to... Nah, I like seeing the people. 
Let's buy that and let's see how this looks. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm going to have to go buy the other colors. Oh, kiddo, you outdid yourself. I love this. From Dead Dolls, this is that fuchsia dress that we saw. And I love that there's like a lace bodice top and then it goes down almost to like a V-line uh, pin skirt. It goes all the way up to the rib cage, and then we have a color HUD for the metals on the back, the zipper. So there are five different metals that you can choose from. I actually kind of like it in black. I love black and pink together. Normally, you don't ever really need to alpha anything from Dead Dolls. Um, if you want to, just do like the little subtle things, like there's a little small spot right there on my side. You can do that as well. Ethan's item might be the only one that I'm not really able to show you just because I don't have a male avatar and it is right over here. So this one, we have two different colors for it. We have it in navy as well as in black and it is called Travis. So uh, these fit TMP, so that's cool, the new classic body, Slink, uh, Signature, and Beleza. So it's it's honestly really cool, but I just don't have a male body to show it off, which kind of bums me out. Um, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, but if anybody in the comments uh, does try it on, uh, please send me a gyozo in the comments, and that way people can check it out as well. The 50 Linen Friday item from Erratic is really close by as well. We have these two colors over here. I love this so much. It's kind of a pin-up-y style romper denim so we have it in stars as well as in polka dots that is very cute i wonder if it's only the oh is it over here too no okay it's confused i wonder if it's only the fat pack where you can change it around or we'll see i guess we'll try it out together Oh, wow. So with the erratic outfit, the rompers, you actually can mix the tops with the star bottom, the stars and dots bottoms. So they have a very huge HUD that goes with it, which is very neat. I had thought it'd be reverse, like blue on the bottom, and then you could change uh, the stars or the stars on top, and you could change the bottom. Oh, I'm so sorry for the yawn. And I'm surprised that it also comes down with new body shapes. They were always very Maitreya exclusive, so it's cool to see Freya in Hourglass as well. So we have this one with the stars, as well as this one with the dots. And it's very cute, and I honestly really love the textures that come on this top. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm going to have to go and get other colors. This is really cute. Let's put it on in white. Yes. Fancy Decor's 50 Linen Friday item is also really close by from the landing point. It's just right over here. Looks like we have two little planters. Oh, no, we have a planter, and we also have, like, a watering um, still. Is that what you call it? A mister. So it looks like you can buy both separately. I love that this is a fly trap. It just now rezzed in. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. These look so cute. I'm glad I'm actually able to get a look at them now that I am not in the laggy store. And then again, they were one land impact and then also we have the mister over here that's also one land impact and they're normally pretty good about their vram too if i remember correctly inspect yes 3000 vram which is very good especially if you remove the shadow as well i think i see a shadow yeah so if you go to uh, select face go to texture and then you go over here and you click the texture itself this is this is copy, so I don't care. And you click transparent, and then that texture is gone. And now let's check the inspection again. And now it's down 2,000, so it went down a whole thousand VRAM, lowering your lag, which is really cool. From Fetch, we have the Winnie earrings. These are really lovely. They're kind of giving me um, almost Bollywood theme, possibly. What would you say this as? It makes me think of the very fancy like pool sides and 
patios that you see from maybe Scarlet Creative in the past Lux boxes. This is really pretty. I always end up doing this. I forgot that I bought, like, I got a few items in the blogger group, and then I bought the same ones too, but that's fine. So with this, we have quite a few different colors for the HUD. It looks like we have nine different colors as well as four different metals. Again, I really like the style of it. At the same time, it also makes me think of lotus root. I don't know if you know what that is. I can put a photo right here. So it's kind of making me a little hungry too, especially if I put it like in this beigey tone right here. I love it. This is really cute. I love the red on this. I think this is really nice. Well done. And I believe it's mod too. So if you want to make it smaller, you most certainly can. Easily done. You can just stretch it like that. If you only want to make the uh, earring itself smaller, that's going to take a little bit more finagling. You'd go to Edit Linked and do that there, but then also you got to make sure to line it up with the chain itself. So, very cute. I like this. Funky Junk used to be a store that was kind of difficult to find the 50 linen item. You kind of had to know where to go when it was there every week. But it looks like they moved it, and I like their new setup here. It looks like a neighborhood now. And it's just right here. Look how beautiful this is. I wonder if it comes with these flowers. Look how lovely. Okay, so this is a gorgeous cottage. And then right over here is where you purchase it. It's like a house for sale, you know? You just buy it right here. How cute is that? I love their style so much. While also trying to buy this because it wasn't letting me buy it, I noticed when I scrolled out that there's actually this one over here too. So I went and bought this too. This is like a little uh, greenhouse almost. I love the stained glass window on it. I am going to message Ula and see why this might be down. Maybe there's an error with it. Um, or maybe it's just not working for me. You never know. But let's check out check it out here instead. So we'll go through the store. And we can browse inside. So over here, oh, look at this really nice, like, open window set. I would love to have a little dining room over here. And you can go over here and, it'd, like, go into the kitchen. I know all their, I believe all their windows work. I think it's Second Life is acting up for me. And then we can go up to the second floor. This looks like maybe a big bathroom. Yeah, I can't even get the doors to work now. Uh, oh, well, it's fine. We have a fireplace over here with some little lights on it, like fairy lights. And it looks like we can also go over here to this patio, too, where someone is standing. Very cute. So it's actually called a garden tea room. It wasn't a greenhouse. So it just makes me think of the trend that's kind of going on right now, where, like, women have their own, like, little lady shed, is what I saw, like, on a commercial and I think it was like an insurance commercial where it accidentally caught on fire. And I think State Farm covered it or something. It was cute. I liked it. And this is cute, too. I love the flooring on it, and I love the stained glass windows. I do wish I could figure out what was going on with the other building, if it wasn't actually for sale or if um, it just wasn't set properly. So hopefully that will get fixed. And if it does, I will update it in the comments below. From Hextraordinary, it looks like we have his uh, Screeching Snap. I do actually have this. It's from a Wizarding Fair like three or four years ago, maybe even older than that. It is so cute, and it does make sounds. I just have this, I think I have sounds turned off. But if you click it, wow, that's loud. Oops. But it's really cute. So I'm not going to purchase this, and you can check it out right here. I believe it is, yeah, three land impact, copy mod, no transfer. I used to put um, a hold animation in on this, and I'd walk around with it as, like, a pet plant at <laughs> Mischief Manage. It was always so fun. We are at Ingenue next, and their item is normally in the same spot as well. Oh, they have a new build. So when you go in, I think it's, yeah, it's just going to be right around this bend, I believe. Oh. On the side. Good to know. <laughs> I took the long way. And I really love these. I saw these on Plurk, so I was really excited to grab them. They come in Midnight and Bubblegum. I might want to get their black version of it as well if I can find it. And they're little pumps. They're called the Anna Heels. They come in Maitreya Lara, Slink Mid, and Beleza All. 
these are the ingenue heels in the what was it midnight yes so it's like a navy dark blue color and you can see the little metal buckle on these sides and then we also have them in bubblegum so let's put those on next and these come in beleza maitreya and slink and there we go so lovely. I love that Angenu does um, mid-size. A lot of people do high, and I love when I'm able to have more casual, realistic shoes that won't completely kill me. These are still pretty high, but I like these quite a bit. These are lovely. Man, Lindsay is so good with her builds. Look at this. She made this. Like, Look how incredible that lighting looks on it. We are at Lavelle next, and they have Slammers. For Fifty Linen Friday, look at these cute fruity textures. Oh my goodness, they come in Slink and Maitreya. So if I didn't say this before, it also comes in unrigged versions as well as a Slink male, female, and Maitreya. And then it's cool that it starts off with a default black base. I don't think that's part of the actual color HUD. So I mean, if you if you want to be, I guess sneaky. No, it's right here. Yay! I was gonna say if you want to be sneaky, just save a copy, but. This makes me happy that there actually is that version. I was going to message her if not. So we have them in watermelon, pineapple, grapefruit, pineapple, lime, and more watermelon. These are cute. So the first three have a black sole. The last four have a white sole. I love how realistic her textures are. Like, look at that. That is awesome. That detail is phenomenal. From Lorazin, we have the Vet Skybox. It is 9 lane impact, 13 by 24, 5 meters, and it's mod copy. And I believe it comes with other colors. Yeah, there's a floor HUD. It comes in dark brown, a gray brown, and then it looks like a tan. The floor HUD is separate from the actual house itself, so keep that in mind. This skybox is lovely and actually way larger than I imagined. Like, this is my ideal size of a studio apartment really for a house so over here we have like a little entryway it looks like you can put or maybe you can even put like a little bathroom there I wish places had doors like I think that might be my biggest pet peeve I wish there was a door then we have this one main room over here maybe you could have that as your bedroom area or this could be your bedroom area back here I enjoy this a lot. This could also be used for events or stores if you want to have your own little extra store up in the sky, like if you have main store area and then your older releases area, you can put that up here. And then we also have our floors HUD, which was a separate purchase, and we can click this. So that first one looks like it was the tan. This is like the dark gray, and then we also have the brown. I love the materials on this. That's beautiful. Wonderful job. And I love that there's actual windows too, so you could maybe set your own little uh, landscape on the outside to check it out. Very neat. Uh, Luxuria is next, and theirs is always in the same spot too. We have the Sky Leggings, and they have a really cute pinstripe going up the back. And then these go for includes appliers for classic avatar layers, Omega, Maitreya, and Slink. They come in eight different colors. Alrighty, so from Luxuria, again, we have these little tights. I did put them over my tattoo, so if it does blink out, it's because I didn't do the, uh, what's it called, the alpha blending. Just because if it did that, or the mask mode, it would totally ruin them. But I can always take these off too. No, go away. I can take this off too just so there is no clipping whatsoever. I would love it when Baked on Mesh is finally out and I can just wear all the layers I want. But for now, this looks really pretty. I love the shine on this. Uh, I do have my shine up on my Maitreya HUD. And then we can see the back a bit better if I move my lighting. Look, you can even see like every single little line that goes into the tights like it's stitched on which is incredible and again it comes with eight different colors oh i love this this is a lot pinker than i thought too that's really pretty kind of baby girl-ish bbg 
Yeah, this is really cute. I like this. Maxi Gossamer, we have uh, the Leather Alexa Choker Necklace. This is cool. It's making me think of like little wires, like if you get all tangled up in them. And it comes in several different colors, 12 leather colors, and then there's a texture changer, and it looks like four different ways to wear it, too. So we have just have like a choker, we have a looser choker, even looser, and then it hangs all the way down to the chest. Maxi Gossamer is next, and again, it comes in four different styles, and these come in several different colors. They do work where you have to click them to do the size and the color, and they come in a little pop-up HUD instead of an actual wearable HUD. So this comes in black, blue pale, hot pink dark, and then hot pink pale. I love the hot pink pale. I think that's really pretty. And then let's see, let's try on, we'll try on one more. We're not going to try them all on. So let's try on the longest one, right? No. Is it? Yeah, okay, it's still resing then. And I did need to resize this quite a bit. Um, I will touch. And then I had to do smaller X3. And that's what fit my neck pretty well. So, it'd be nice if this resed in so I didn't have to pause and let it res. You can do it. You can do it happy. I kind of thought there were also going to be more colors too, but maybe that's a different version. We have a black, blue, pale, hot pink and dark, so maybe this is the 50 Linen Friday version, and then there's a more detailed version as well in the store, or maybe even near it. It's lovely. I am in love with this 50 Linen Friday item from Masu. If you know me, I am obsessed with like high waist panties, like that's my favorite way of panties. Ooh, I want these too. Those are cute. Okay, and I'm wearing this crown right now, by the way. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm wearing later on. Um, well, I guess it'd be in the beginning of the video, so you already know what I'm wearing. Um, but we have right here this really cute lingerie set, and it has little gems on them, and it comes in like a pinky tone. You do have to buy them separately, and then they come in, oh, lots of sizes, Maitreya, Isis, Hourglass, Freya. So with Masu, we have this gorgeous like bikini set. It is two-piece. It's a bra and panties. And then you can also change the gems on it. There's three different gem colors you can have. I believe it has the pink right now. I think that's for the gems, right? Am I crazy? Or is it for like a metal somewhere? Let's see. I think I had to move it away. Oh, why isn't it doing anything? Is it back here then? No. Is it doing something and I don't realize it? No. So maybe the HUDs aren't working. But okay, I will message the owner and ask, or maybe it's just my computer goofing, but it's been acting up quite badly lately. But honestly, on its own, even without it, it's incredible. I love the gems. I love how much they shine. Like, look at this glitter. It almost looks like it could be... Uh, what is it called bling but it's not it's literally just the shine with materials enabled like look how pretty that is that's so nice and I like that it's a two-piece set like you can mix and match you don't have to have it all together and I enjoy this very much again it comes in Freya Hourglass Isis and Maitreya we have Osmia next and it's right over here I love that yellow so much so it comes with two different colors that you can buy. It looks like I think they're separate. I could be wrong. I wish I could see. Or is it all together? I, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's all together. That's cool. Okay, so you can kind of mix and match these. It looks like there is a palm or are those feathers? Maybe feathers. And Birds of Paradise as well as this yellow top. 
Oh, I absolutely love this from Osmia. So this is the Tropical print, and it comes in a bunch of different sizes. It comes in Freya, Hourglass Isis, Maitreya, and then also you have it in Tropical and in Yellow. It came with all of those. So let's put on the yellow ones now too. And I love that you can mix and match. So you already can see the yellow right here. Again, this is like maybe my favorite yellow. I love this color. It's like a mustardy or more of like a golden sunset yellow. I enjoy it a lot. The rig is beautiful. I am a huge fan of this. Flowey's item is a super cute bodysuit right here. It comes in two different colors. We have an oil slick as well as it looks like almost a latex black or maybe a patent leather black. This is really cute. I love how her avatar looks too. It's adorable. With Stories & Co, we have the two different color bodysuits. Again, these are lovely. I always love her texturing. I think she does such a good job. And these just look so well done. I am a huge fan. And also the rig is always on point. Like, I don't have any glitches or clipping or anything. So this is the oil slick texture. And then we also have, I was right, it is the latex black texture. How good that looks. Ah. Oh. I love how high waist it goes to, so you can see the hips. It's wonderful. I did remove it improperly, though, so the nipples are sticking out. That's my fault. <laughs> my bad, guys. And finally, from Wasabi Pills, we are going to go right on in through this entrance, and it's going to be over here on the left-hand side where everybody is gathering. It looks like we have a side braid, and this one is called Hibiki. They have, I believe this is their own like exclusive 50 Linen Friday colors, and it always comes with the normal colors as well as the roots. And I really like the braid itself. I think that's really pretty. And the final store is Wasabi Pills again. And it again, it comes with seven different colors as well as root options. I always like that they do have a few neutral tones, and I do believe... Yes, they always do have it where you can tint as well. So if you want to try it out and get their blonde color, you can kind of tint it to your heart's desire and have fun with it. And this is hair A. I want to see the difference between this and hair B. Let's see. We'll just put them both on and see what happens. Okay, so now let's remove this. It looks like it might come without the bangs. Nope. I don't really know what the actual difference is. Maybe just a few strands? If you can tell me, I'd love to know. And again, I, I really like this, though. I'll probably be wearing this the rest of the day. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate it. And let me know what you think of this new 50 Linen Friday style. Is this something that you enjoy? If so, I'll start doing this in the future as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, and if you'd like, subscribe. If you don't want to, it's fine too. And have a wonderful weekend. Bye, guys.